Welcome to Charter Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer. It's inside the beautiful Tennessee State Capitol, joined by Ron Lawler. He is a member of the House of Representatives. And so I'd like to talk to you about taxes in this great state. Uh, there's no doubt over the last, oh, five years, taxes have been dropping. We know we saw the repeal of several taxes. We saw the repeal of the estate tax, the gift tax. And I know near and dear to your heart is a half cent sales tax drop on food. I think that's very important to the working people. I mean, we have got to, as a legislature, show that we're responsive right. to what what impacts them directly, whether it's gas or or uh, food, right. uh, and that's something that they take home with them every night. And let's talk about food because you chair ag, so obviously you know from what you speak when we're dealing with food and food prices, and so no doubt I'm sure the, the constituents of Tennessee were pleased when the tax was dropped by a half cent on food. We have a surplus here in Tennessee, no doubt about it, almost $2 billion. So is now the time given that we have a surplus to look again at dropping the sales tax on food? I, I think it, it needs to be considered mm. and it needs to be considered, but we can't lose sight of where we're going to be next year. Right. Who knows what could happen next Who year? Who knows what's going to be. And, and we, are, we are very solid financial, mm -hmm. uh, financially as a state. There are states with income taxes and other uh, types of revenue right. around us that aren't doing as well of course and we've been able to manage the way we need to manage now it, we can't always just turn loose and spend so is this a one-time money that we have coming in or is this going to be right. ongoing money because you can only invest what you have going sure. on sure so you mentioned the income tax i'd like to talk to you about that because as you know uh tennessee does not have an income tax per se in fact by constitutional amendment it can't have one, right thanks to the vote in 2014 but we do have something called the hall income tax right and the hall income tax taxes i guess at a level of about six percent with exemptions right. um stock dividends uh, bond income and so there have been discussions about further cutting the hall income tax. And, and I think the governor's looking at that very seriously. Uh, I don't know if it would be a one, I mean a right. big, just total reduction, but we've all certainly eased off of it. And I think we can look at taking it on down a little more. But there again, as Tennessee traditionally does, we plan what we do. Right, so yeah. let's talk about um, how, what that would look like. Because while you don't represent Memphis, you represent Shelby County, parts of Shelby right. County. And Memphis, like many local governments, is a bit nervous about the potential for hall reform. Why, as I understand it, the localities get about three-eighths of the hall income tax. And so there are discussions, if there's hall tax reform, to either hold them harmless, maybe give them the revenue they would have had with surplus money or otherwise, or I believe one of your colleagues is looking at the possibility, it's actually House Majority Leader Gerald McCormick, looking at the possibility of allowing cities, counties to ask voters, do you want to have a hall income tax, if the state repeals it, of our own? What do you make of that, sir? Well, first place, the thing that, that has always bothered me in Tennessee is you make one city receive special consideration oh. over another city for whatever reason. And I've got problems with that. We need to make sure that Tennessee is looking at something. Even if the voters themselves said, we'll, we're willing to tax ourselves? Well, then ourselves? you have to give all the voters that oh, option. Okay. I mean, uh, I mean you're, you know, it's, uh, it's we're gonna let this group do it. And right. I think a federal judge said it best a few couple of years ago. Please. Can't do that anymore. <laughs> uh, we it's went the simple for, stuff. We but. went for years. Uh, always separating out by all those with a population of over 700,000. Right. Now, what one of the problems that we have is we've got a new mayor in Memphis. Right. And uh, even though I don't represent Memphis, I do understand financially that they were further behind than he thought when he took over. Uh, it would it would be very it would be it would be a lot it would be very impactful to them to just take it away. So, so I, I don't know, hmm. you know, and, and I'm not saying not just take it away, but I'm right. saying there, there, there's bound to be some options and you brought some of them up. Right. But at the same time, I've got my constituents to think about and I don't want to say, 
okay, let's go into the city and take care of this, but not take care of my constituents, which I'm most concerned with. So what are your constituents saying about hall tax reform? They have seen some, but do they want it eliminated? Are they looking for a gradual elimination? Do they want a one-time cut? Of course, anybody that's paying any kind of tax <laughs> right. want you, Who doesn't you know, want that, cut? Yeah, they yeah. want it gone. Of course. And I think being responsible, we need to see how best to get rid right, of it. Right, because we still I need services. It needs to go. Mm -hmm. Let's just start working on it and, and, and head toward that end. So let's talk about gas because you had mentioned gas taxes. And again, those are those taxes that we pay them every day. It's a little frustrating. But we know that gas taxes are the basis upon which much of our transportation funding is derived. And we haven't seen an increase in the gas tax in Tennessee since 1989. Um, and at the same time, we have inflation and road construction and hybrid vehicles. And so there are rumblings about whether we need to look at the gas tax. What do you think, sir? Well, anytime Tennessee is the fifth largest state in the nation, the last I checked, on uh, as far as our infrastructure paying for itself right you've also got to look at the national revenue that comes back to tennessee for road has been almost depleted mm -hmm. in the since just i've been up here in the right. last few years and we used to look at three four five hundred million now we're looking at 80 to 100 million right. so we've got an infrastructure that we're going to have to address now here's our here's my concern Please. and here's what several of our leadership's concerns been is it's going to have to be addressed, but let's put it before uh, uh, Alec is a, is a is a representative group that is competent to give it a good a good going over. You know where are we mm. spending that we don't need to? We found out I think two or three four years ago, or maybe it was six. <laughs> God, it's hard to know. Yeah, you and time. me both, sir. Uh, we took money away from Tdot and send it over to TenCare. Right. So we're still missing some millions there. And the governor is looking at refunding or trying to bring or, back or some, some of those part funds, of it, yeah. at least part of it. But what, we've, what I think we got into is, for instance, and, and this is just something that I will bring the question up because Please. I'm not totally clear. There are several projects that, that uh, I said Alec, and I didn't mean Alec. I, uh, do you mean Alec, the, the state, the Republican state? No, oh. no. Uh, I'm Tasser, I okay. apologize to okay. you. Tasser is the state group, and what they do is they review uh, money, fund. Uh, you know, they pretty well look at the budgets sure. a little closer, individual line items and things. So I think before we start asking for a, a gas tax for infrastructure, we need to send it through Tasser. Mm and let them have a good going. It consists of, of mayors, it consists of aldermen, it consists of legislators, uh, board members, you know, TDOT members. Let them study. Uh, we may have a project that has one state fund putting into a road project, but yet the roads have to spend additional fund right. getting, or we have to spend a fish, uh, additional road money to get to that location. And that's the thing that worries me that we you know, we're looking at the project, but what's the cost getting to the project, and how much is that going to deplete the day-to-day -day operating funds of TDOT? What about spending some of the surplus as a one-time expenditure to fix this road, whatever this road may be? Don't have any problem with that, but then, then you start looking at the size of Tennessee and the number of projects that are needed. Right. I mean, there's Who just picked? there's just not enough to cover every project, right. so you you better come up with a long-term plan his, to really to really look at uh, it. I hear you. His name is Ron Lawler. He is a member of the House of Representatives in the beautiful state of Tennessee, where we are today in the state capitol. I'm Brad Pomerantz, Charter Local Edition.